Hello, everybody. Um, this is not my first word camp, but it is my first time speaking, so bear with me. Um, today, um, I'm going to be discussing something I think that everybody has gone through or will go through. Um, I know that when I first built my WordPress website um, a long time ago, I never understood why I wouldn't get all the emails that was sent from my website. So um, if you have that problem, then this is for you. Um, but first, um, I want to introduce myself really quickly. Um, again, my name is Sunoon. I know it's uh, spelled Sinoun, but Sunoon Chia. Um, I have, um, I, I um, started uh, Shift Web Solutions about nine years ago, um, and uh, I've been building websites for a long time. Um, so, and I, I love WordPress. This is what I live and breathe. Um, I do web design, I do SEO and WordPress tutoring, so keep me in mind if you guys have any questions, any beginners out there that need some help, I do one-on-one -on -one tutoring. Um, and and that's, that's pretty much it. I don't want to talk too much about myself, other than uh, this is my little niece over here. I'm obsessed with her. She's, um, she's six weeks, and she's an angel, and I'm obsessed with her, so I have to put her in here. But anyway, so I didn't do a typical uh, PowerPoint because I like making websites, so you know, my presentation is going to be on the World Wide Web, and you can actually access it by just going to shiftweb.co. So what I'm going to be uh, going over with you is going to be pretty fast because there's a lot to cover. Um, so if I move too fast and you need to refer back to what I'm talking about, just go to this website and then you'll see um, everything that I'm going to go through with you today. Okay, so I think that's it for introduction. Now first I want to discuss uh, why, why do you need this? Um, pretty much anybody that has a WordPress website is going to need this. Every time I build a site, it's the first thing I do is set up um, this, what I'm about to show you. Um, and it's really uh, overwhelming and confusing trying to figure it out yourself because there's a lot of uh, um, solutions out there that you can choose from, like Mandrill, SendGrid. I'm sure you guys have heard of those companies. Um, I've tried them all and they're all really confusing. Um, so today I'm going to be discussing Postmark, which is just uh, just like SendGrid and Mandrill, which you've heard before, but Postmark is just not, I think, as well known, but they're, they're great. Um, so you need this if you have trouble sending, uh, receiving emails from your website. I'm not talking about, you know, uh, sending emails from your Gmail or your Yahoo or whatever. This is from your website. So if you use a contact form like Contact Form 7, Ninja Forms, Gravity Forms, whatever it is, if it's a, a plugin on your website, uh, you need to set up this um, that I'm going to show you. Also, um, you know, if you, ha if you have WooCommerce on your website, um, sometimes, you know, people who buy, you know, products or services on your website and then they don't get an email, well, this is the reason why, is because um, your, your website's having trouble delivering the, um, the, the email from your website to, um, to whomever it needs to go to. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about this. Um, there's a lot of uh, confusing key terms, and you don't really have to know it, but DKIM and SPF um, and SMTP, these are just terms that explain what happens um, when you set up email deliverability for your website. So um, since we don't have a lot of time, I don't want to go through this too much. But let's, let's get right in, uh, dig right in. Uh, first thing you're going to need, just to let you know, obviously, is your WordPress website. Uh, the next thing is um, access to your domain registrar for your domain name, GoDaddy, um, Uniregistry, whatever it is that you use. Um, OK, so the first thing I recommend is Postmark. Um, the internet here is not very good, so I'm glad that I made this video. Um, so instead of showing you how to do it, what I'm just I'm just show you this video. It's very easy. I've made very short videos. That's not going to work. It's going to load forever. But I did put step by step um, um, text here for you. If you can't watch the video right now, um, but. Essentially, what you're going to do is set up a Postmark account, which looks like this. It's yellow, very simple, easy to look at. Um, set up for an, uh, tr sign up for an account. Uh, the account is you get free 100 emails um, a month. Now, I'm not talking about emails being sent from, you know, again, like your, your Gmail or your Yahoo or 
uh, Google Apps, whatever it is, is just from your, your site. And you know, if you need more credits, then you would have to purchase some more. And um, all of these uh, sender signatures, um, like Postmark, um, you have to pay for credits. Um, you do get a limited amount every month, but I like Postmark because you get 100, and it's good to start, um, especially if you have a small site that doesn't get a lot of emails sent out from your website. So sign up for a postmark. The second thing you will do is add a DKIM text record. I know this sounds you know, crazy and overwhelming, but when you sign up for an account with, um, with postmark, you set up the center signature, which I have in a previous step, um, and then you will get this right here. Maybe I should have did screenshots. I tried to be helpful and do GIFs or videos. Um, and it's not playing. So does anybody know how to uh, insert text records into your domain? Is that weird? Okay, now there's just a couple of hands. Okay, so when you're giving a text record, it's like um, the string of numbers and letters that, uh, that you have to put into your domain registrar. So it'd be really helpful if I could just show you Manage DNS, so I'm using GoDaddy just because GoDaddy, a lot of people use it, so it won't, it won't do it. Okay, here we go. So these are the text records, um, DNS records that I have set for the domain, and this is a text record right here that I set up for, from a Postmark um, that, that Postmark gives you that you just literally just insert into um, your uh, DNS records here. So there's a DKIM, DKIM text record that Postmark gives you, and then there's also a C name. Um, you see right here, I can't play it because it's not gonna play, but it looks just like this. When, when you uh, sign up for Postmark, these are the text records that you put in. Very simple, just do exactly what it says, put it in your uh, domain registrar, and it's gonna do wonders. Now here's another option, is you can set up DMARC, it's optional, um, you can look at that when you have time. Um, but it, it would be good for, um, for you know, you getting reports on, you know, your emails and it helps, you know, prevent spoofing. Uh, spoofing, um, I had that happen to me, not with my email, but my phone. People will call uh, me th saying, thinking that I called them, but I didn't because my phone number will pop up on their call ID. That's spoofing. Same thing with email. P hackers or spammers will use your email and it looks like the email's been sent, being sent from you, but it's not, and it's, it's really bad for business. Um, so setting up these records will really help you, you know, and you know, it will avoid you getting spoofed, which is really important. So the next thing you do is just install your Postmark plugin um, uh, for WordPress. You just go into your, you know, find a plugin, Postmark for WordPress, um, install it, um, and that's easy, everybody knows how to do that. I hope, if you don't, I can help um, after this talk, uh, show you how to, how to find it. Um, after you install the plugin, you have to connect it with your website, postmark with your website. So postmark will send you, uh, give you an API key that you insert into the plugin, and just insert it in there, and then it connects your uh, website with, with postmark. Um, and then when you do that, just send a test email. Um, so I know I went through this really fast, but I do want to say that um, you have to use your domain email. So a lot of you may not have a domain email set up for your domain. For example, um, info at shiftweb.co. Uh, this is not my main website. This is just for this talk. Um, so I don't have an email set up for this. I didn't, I didn't set it up. So you're probably wondering how are you going to connect this postmark with your website when you have to use your domain email. Well, it's simple. Um, Postmark works without emails actually being active. Your domain only needs to be active. So if your domain is active, obviously you're building a site on it, it's active. So when you insert these uh, DNS records onto, uh, for you know, your, these DNS records into your, uh, for your domain, um, it's just telling, uh, um, you know, your domain um, that, hey, it's safe to send emails from your website, um, even though, you know, you don't, you're not using the email. And I know that's a little confusing, but, um, and I wish I could just show you what it looks like. So this came up. So this is what it looks like when you insert DNS records. You click on it. It's copied to the clipboard. 
insert it into your domain manager. Um, and so I'm going to show you what it looks like. Hopefully it'll pop up. Um, anyway, it's the internet's slow and it's killing me. But this is everything. If you just go to shiftweb.co, you will see exactly step by step what you need to do. And I know that you probably think you don't need this. Yes, you do, 100%. Everybody needs it, whether you're advanced, beginner, whatever it is. If you have a website and you want people to send you an email through a contact form, like contact form seven, you need to set this up. And the reason why I suggest Postmark is because they make it super easy to, to, to do. This is what happens when you sign up for an account. This is what it looks like. You try uh, SendGrid. I tried that the other day just to make sure you know I'm using the right app, recommending the right app for you guys. Um, Postmark is just e is easy. So if you follow these steps on, on the site here, uh, you're gonna, it's pretty much guaranteed that you would get the emails from your website. So, um, and you wanna do that because if you don't, then it's bad for business and people are gonna wonder why you didn't respond to them. It's because you never got your e e the email. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I know I went through this really fast, but if you guys have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Yes. Yep, pretty much, that's the first thing I do. Is, so his question, yes, was uh, the first thing that you do is when you create a WordPress website, you activate a Kismet and other things, and, and this is the first thing I do every time. Um, because if you're using, um, you know, unless you're using something like Wufoo, uh, that's a third party plugin, the one that I use a lot, um, you don't need to set this up because the email is being sent from Wufoo servers. But most of the time people are using Contact Form 7 because it's free. Right? So contact, you know, contact Form 7, a plugin like that, is relying on your hosting company to send the emails from your website, which you don't want to do that. They're, you know, uh, your hosting company is not an uh, email client. Um, so you want to make sure that you get those emails. Um, that's why it doesn't matter if you um, have email set up for that, um, for that domain or not. Just as long as you have a website and you want to make sure you get emails, set this up. So is this something I should go back and retrofit my clients with? Yeah, probably, yeah. So do, you, do your clients have any problems receiving emails at any time? They probably don't know. Yeah, exactly. Well, if, if, if yeah, that's, that's the problem. And uh, the reason why I found out emails are not being sent was because um, I was using WooCommerce years ago, and I was wondering why uh, my clients didn't re receive receipts, or I didn't receive orders. And it's like, okay, you know, because WooCommerce is relying on your host to send emails. So yes, you, you have, to, have to set this up. Now, you don't have to use this. You can use whatever you want, but I recommend Postmark. Yes. So the instructions to set this up, are, will you share this presentation? or how Yeah, will you get just these? go to shiftweb.co. Shiftweb.co, right here. Okay. Shiftweb, which is my company name, shiftwebsolutions.co. This is not my main website. I made it just for this, for this talk. Um, and you will see step-by-step uh, step, all the recommendations and links, very easy to look at. Um, yes, yes. Webmail, is there access to webmail? Well, this, this? Is not, this is not connected to your webmail at all. Okay. Yeah, it's completely separate. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Tomorrow I have a, oh yes. Can you, make, can you spell shift? Sure, shift, don't forget the F, shift. Like you're making a shift, and then web. So uh, let me see if I have, right here, Shift Web Solutions. If you click on this, it goes to my main website. You'll see my logo up here, Shift Web Solutions. Uh, the way, reason why I say don't forget the F is because every time I type in my business name, I always forget the F and it just spells shit. So it looks really bad. <laughs> But yes, this is step by step. And I also have another uh, session tomorrow um, for, for, if, if, for Divi, Divi theme users. Um, it's a theme that I recommend to everybody. It's the best theme in the world, in my opinion. But, um, but yeah, any more questions? We're good. Thank you very much for listening.